Hi guys, Cheesy Moose here, and today, as I said before, we're back in Animal Crossing, and I said um, in, the, in my last Animal Crossing video, I'll check with you when I have completed Harb's Island, and um, so I can show you guys all the things that are actually in it. So, um, I believe I have it completed. If you look here, and Harb should be here introducing the last guy, so... Obviously, these are all just people here um, that you normally see. There are a few new ones, though, um, and I'll go and explain the great things about each of them. This guy's brand new, and I don't think there's going to be a lot different about him, because normally he just goes to your island and sells shoes and backpacks and stuff like that. So, I don't think there's going to be a big difference with him. So, let's see, he's going to give us some rant on why he's here and something like that and then we should be able to check out what he has to offer because sometimes they have different kind of stuff that they can offer this guy though i'm pretty sure is going to stay fairly close to the same yeah close to the same but it's pretty nice that you have the option knee braces i am buying knee braces i didn't know that you could get knee braces in the game but i'm just buying them now you know, because knee braces are something I do need to invest in, especially in a video game. Socks. Oh, they're socks. But for knees. Nah, I'm good fam. Alright. So, basically, you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and possibly eight. I'm not so 100% sure about Harry yet, so what normally happens is whenever you get a new person on this island or every now and then, Harriet will just be, um, become like, just do hairdressing stuff randomly, so I'm not sure if she's always gonna be here now, because I have everyone unlocked, or if she's just shows up randomly now or on certain days, maybe um, I, I'm not sure about that, although what she does is she gives you a random hairstyle Okay, this time it's actually not that bad. Other times it's it's quite interesting. Nah, just give me back to my old style, please. Really. Although, it's pretty cool to have the option for other hairstyles, and who knows, maybe you'll get one that you'll like. Um, but I'm, again, I'm not sure if he's always here now, um, because I've unlocked everyone. And, um... Just so you know, um, they are all always here, like everyone with a trailer, except when they're at your island. So, sometimes when they're at your, the, your island, you know, um, it is an advantage, because some of them, like Red, have like more stuff, and sometimes the disadvantage if it's like someone like the Camel at your island, because he only has Red Muffins. So, here is, um... Yeah, here's red. Um, I, what I find with red is that this is a really efficient way to get art. Because, um, you know, um, all the other times you're always just waiting for him to show up. And sure, he has a lot more art options, and sometimes these are fake. But I found that I got so much more art by just getting him here right away. So if you want someone to here right away to be useful, I definitely pick red first. Um, mostly because of the art. There's not really much I can talk to him about. He also has raffle tickets where he just gives you like random small items that are kind of useless and fun. Um, Leaf is another one that I actually got later but I wish I got earlier because if I talk to Leaf here, um, he'll also sell you these things at his island. Like there's nothing that really changes with Leaf. Although and you can always like just collect a bunch of weed and stuff and come and sell it to here. Art to him too. Oh, he gave me a recipe for something. That's kind of odd. Wasn't expecting him to do that. All right, Leaf, um, give me a recipe. I wonder, do they all give me recipes? Cause everyone's full now. That might be interesting. So if we just go to the shop here, you know, Leaf has he has all his normal options, but um, he gives gives you um 
foods and stuff like that and if you don't have them because i didn't know how to get these when the first like new food update came out which is the update that these guys came in but i didn't know how to get these and then found out it was with leaf and then sometimes it's the same so this is really just an easier way to get them uh i can't really guarantee that it'll change up his stuff for stuff you don't have right away but there's not a lot that you actually need um let's just do these llamas all right yes so basically what they do um they can customize all your things and so far i haven't really used them a whole lot i got this whiteboard though so we can just check it out so they can have a blank whiteboard stock market stuff possibly soccer game and oh there's a lot of interesting options yep so i think there are sometimes they can give you special options that are not normally here i'm not 100 percent sure what kind of stuff you need to do but basically you can just go and pay a thousand dollars for them to customize your stuff and um that's that's really all i know from them i'm sure there's a lot of cool options for furniture and stuff like that again i haven't really gone into using them because you need money for furniture and uh you need a total of 700,000 bells to get all of them which kind of seems like i've been grinding a lot now that i say that out loud this guy is actually pretty cool so you can actually take things from your storage I believe so if I go get items from storage now I'll be able to let's just take this office desk move to my pockets and that's all he does he moves stuff to your pockets from here to there which is really useful so now actually if I go back here with this office desk I might be able to see more customizable options so really these two go together quite well and I just like the look of the turtle man he, he kind of he's kind of looking great um yeah, let's see this office desk Okay, a lot of generic things. Ooh. Actually, you're gonna have papers on it. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, so anyway, that's kind of what those ones do. Um, now, of course, we're moving on to Mr. Camel, where I find the camel person is um, much more useful here because um, you can actually see what you're gonna buy. I believe or you can buy actually I'm not sure if you can buy the mystery rugs anymore but you can see all the funky rugs because when he goes to buy it's like what size do you want and then buy mystery rug but here um, it's an iron entrance mat like that kind of seems interesting a bank vault like pharmacy shelving like so he's kind of um, a bit more useful, I find, because you can tell what you're going to get here instead of the mystery. Um, and then finally, we have the fortune teller, who, um, I don't know, I did once and I didn't understand anything. But, uh, I figured, since it's a video, um, oh, you can talk about friendship, too. Uh, Sure, let's talk about friendship. Let's see what happens. I'll do it twice just to see. I can see many faces in my crystal. With whom shall I divine your friendship? Wait, is she just divine our friendship? I'm so confused. Let's just uh, let's pick Tank the Goat. Very well. Let me consult my crystal ball about your friendship with Tank. Now please close your eyes. I will not, guys. I'm just staring straight at the screen now, just so y'all know. Why am I talking like a cowboy? I don't say y'all, so you all know. There we go. I've said it correctly. Okay, okay. The speech bubble's gone red, guys. The speech bubble has gone red. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Tank's animated silhouette. Oh, oh, I see something, yes, wow. I float within the conscience of Tank. I see many faces before me. You smile, you frown. Your eyes seem puffy, perhaps from a wasp sting. From this vision it is clear that many memories of you swirl about in the curious mind of Tank. It is certain that you two are bond together by the strongest of bonds. 
Okay, so I think it kind of tells you who's your best friend and who doesn't overly like you. I mean, me and Tank are best friends, so I guess that is pretty accurate. Um, but I also have other best friends, like Puck is my best friend and Nan as well, so that'd kind of be interesting. Alright, let's go, um, let's go funky mode one more time with this, um, amazing prediction. Let's see, um, yeah, let's just spend all my money. This seems like a good idea. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait. Did I do the future one, or did I do friendship again? Okay, no, I definitely did future. Because I didn't have an option to pick a friend, so that's hopefully what I did. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, more yee! That is some deep stuff. Oh my gosh, it's me, guys. I look so sexy. Oh, oh, I see something, yes. I see a lossy- oh my gosh. No. <sighs> I don't- I don't like that. That, um, future prediction because it just means that that annoying Seagull is gonna just show up on my island again, and I kind of just ignore him now because he kind of just doesn't make me happy. Anyway, what does um, Leaf give me? A hedge? Is it just a generic hedge? Let's let's check it out. What is it? Sick. That's pretty cool. All right, Red. How are you? <sighs> yep, so basically what you can do from Red is you can buy one of these raffle tickets, which I'll just do for you, and you'll see it's quite a random item, really. Um, I'm spending a lot of money that I don't want to right now. But yeah, it's a pretty um, useful feature that they've added, and I find that you get to use all these people a lot more than you actually would. See, I got a donut, guys. I'm so good at the game. Anyway, um, as I was saying, you use people a lot more than you normally would, and it's useful for some, like red, you can absolutely grind the art, which I'm trying to, and I've almost, oh, can I wear the new races now? You can't see them, though. Interesting. Let's hold this. Do a green donut. Okay. Whatever. Um, but basically, I find that so far things are pretty good. Like some people like him, like this um, skunk man doesn't change and he's not, I don't know if we use him that much anyway. If I'm being honest, this fortune teller is kind of fun, but um, a little useless. Um, like definitely useless on the future thing as we've just seen, but the friendship thing you might be able to uh, be able to use that somehow to like try and get someone to your best friend if you had someone new and you wanted to be your best friend to get up there so I do see that as useful the camel the definitely much more useful I can take a chomp out of the donut turtle man um, kind of useless unless you have the llama so definitely get the llamas first and then the turtle man because together they're kind of a power combo and leaf I find is um, Definitely a little bit more useful. I didn't use Leaf a whole lot, but um, he's definitely a little bit more useful. Sadly, I can't give him this green donut. Mm, absolutely nom. And uh, Harriet, just kind of vibing, honestly. New hairstyle, can't complain. Now, um, let's see, Harv, do you have anything to say now that I've done everything? See, what happens if I ask him about the shops? Well, guys, we may have hard path. So I feel like, um...
Well, um, if we just made our path evil, then I feel like it's time to go home. I completed this, and if you have Animal Crossing, which, honestly, you should get Animal Crossing, and I'm not being paid to say that, by the way, even though, you know, it's probably likely that I would be paid, but they just haven't, because I advertise already too much for free, but, um, that's not the point. Um, I highly suggest you try and fill out this island, definitely, um, before anything else, like, before your house upgrades and stuff like that, because this island is super useful. And, um, with that being said, Wilbur, I think it's time we, we go home. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel, so you don't miss out on more Animal Crossing videos. Um, I'm not sure what to do next for Animal Crossing, really. We've kind of done everything. And now we've completed another thing. I might try and do streams, but uh, so far things haven't really been working for streams. So I'm not 100% confident that that would work. But uh, I might just do other random videos on Animal Crossing, or who knows, I might get the DLC and make a video or two on that. Or maybe a series, depending on how interesting the DLC is for content. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, um, I'm Cheesy Moose, and I will see you next time.